Howdy, howdy, boys and girls. Today we have an awesome challenge that I want to embark on. You see these three obelisks here? Well, today we're going to fly around the whole map hitting all three obelisks from this here volcano, which is in the central middle of the map, and land right back here on the volcano without touching the ground one time. You guys think we can do it? Well, we're going to attempt it and see if we can do it. You're going to have to stay tuned to the end of the video to see if we actually make it. Now, just to give you guys some information about this here dino, you might not know what this is. If you've seen any of my past videos, then you'll know what this dino is. And you'll know that it is by far my favorite overall dino. It has incredible capabilities in the air on land and in the water so if you want to see what it can do on land and in the water let me know in the comments and i'll be sure to bring you guys some banging videos on what it can do but let me tell you some info on this here dino now the maywing is considered what we call the baby thief you see this is a natural born nursing dino right so on its saddle it has the option to carry six babies Right? That's any dinos. Any dinos that are babies, it can carry them up to the adolescent age. Not only that, it acts as a feeding trough for all babies. It has little things on the side that spit out food to nurse the babies. You can also put in meat and berries of any kind. And any babies within the vicinity of it, which is a pretty wide range, will automatically feed off of this thing. It's like a, a feeding trough, basically, for all babies. You can literally go up to an enemy's camp that has baby dinos, select for it to then steal the baby, and it will put them in the saddle, and you can ride away with it. And once that happens, that baby dino is now yours. That's right. You imprint on it just by this dino stealing them babies it works for wild dinos and pvp dinos it's quite useful now i gotta say the flying on this thing is incredible if you notice i'm not going down at all it's just basically hovering at the same height all the way around i freaking love this dino for getting around now the key to using it to fly like this is you don't want to go up or down with this if you go down he'll start to soar down and it's really hard to get that height back up now if you go up it's going to slow him down and he's going to eventually just hover down to the ground you can see that green circle up there now that is the top of the map i can't go any higher than that so i want to be careful as to not go up too much and hit that barrier to get knocked down now when you're flying like this, pardon the clouds, they seem to pop out of nowhere sometimes. When you're flying like this, there is a way to go up and increase the height, but it's very tedious. You have to ever so slightly go up on the stick, right? If you push up too much, you're going to see these white lines that will come up from the wings. And that will slowly lower you. You don't want to go up too much. You just got to ever so slightly tilt it up. Now, what you're going to see in the moment is a perfect example of that. You see, we just hit all three obelisks easily and have not dropped in elevation at all. So now what we got to do is circle back around and try to land on this here volcano. Now, the volcano is a little higher than me. So what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to circle around the volcano gaining height ever so slowly so that we can land back on top now i'm going to show you how to do that right here and what you really got to do is like i said just very very slightly tilt it up at an upward angle just like that right there and then he's going to slowly gain altitude as you go around this mountain without losing any speed or height it's pretty phenomenal and not only that if you look up here the stamina is incredible on this thing i went around the whole map and i'm just now below half it is insane and the volcano gives you a perfect view of the whole map 
so it's definitely a nice place to start now if you notice those white little trails when i started to aim up that is when you're starting to drop an elevation now, if you notice, I can also jump quite high with this thing, as well as expand his wings like a parachute and float down wherever I want. I'm telling you, this dino's the best. It's got a great attack, got a great defense, got great HP, great stamina. He can breathe underwater. Boy, he can breathe underwater, and he moves so fast. You're going to love one to get one. If you want to get one, you just have to download the mod and then go out and tame you one. But these things are worth it in every kind of way. This is my main mount, my main dino, and I'm going to use them for everything. Everything I can. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you want to see Maywing in water or on land, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to bring you a banging video on that. Once again, I appreciate everyone. We just passed 250 subscribers. That's freaking amazing. And I love you all. I hope you have a blessed night. Thank you for watching. Say this one time, that one time You make me feel alright So nice I know you wanna do one Say less You can stay the night You don't gotta go We could take this slowly No need to be